and welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar. We have a fabulous show today. My guest today has been, uh, well, I, I want to say he almost has more alphabet soup in his name than you could believe, but it's, uh, it's a little bit more than that. You see, Adele Stunkard has created a number of businesses, uh, starting as a, well, he's spending a great deal of time as a CAO, which is Chief uh, administrative officer for a company that had more moving parts than the watch that you wear to uh, to moving through to being a CFO and now as a CEO of over six businesses one international so with that I want to get right to Adele thanks for being on the show hello Patrick thanks for having me I really want to get into um, your story because when we've talked in the past you have shown me that you could keep track of more pieces in the puzzle than most of us would ever want to try to keep track of and administrate those and bring those together. We, we jokingly call it a high uh, driver on steroids, <laughs> uh, kind of turned loose on a company, but that's given you gifts and talents to be that, that breakthrough person that, uh, I want to say, that person that brings the hammer to the the glass ceiling above other leaders right. and help them break through. So what's your story? Oh, uh, well, a little more than we have time here for today, but the high points are that 15 years ago, I didn't do what I do now. Right. 15 years ago, I was following the usual climb the corporate ladder, let's, you know, let's work on that life. But the further along I went, the less that made sense. Right. And so a turning point came where I was like, okay, if I'm going to do what I was created to do, then some changes are going to have to be made. And so I moved into making a decision about what my life was going to be. Right. And then made myself align all of my actions and all of my subsequent decisions and everything I did to be in alignment with that target. Right. And so as you go, you apply those same principles onto any business in any industry, and you make a decision, and you do it and you keep doing it until you have another decision that you've made. And then you switch to that and you keep going. Always looking with the end in mind. And so that's been the story of my life, is always looking for what is the end and then let's back up to where we are and let's put everything in line to have that be in place. Right. And just like in any part of any business, there's a system. Well, there's a system to everything you do, including how you breathe air. So there's a system to your life, there's a system to your business, there's a system to multiplying your business, there's a system to multiplying how many businesses you can do, and it's just a question of putting the right pieces in the right place so that you can scale everything to what you want it to be. And that's the real secret, is scalability. And it's all through the foundational principles that you put in place and the decisions that you make in line with the belief that you have about where it is that you intend for this vehicle to go. Well, then what are some of the foundation stones that you use? Because you've told me right there that you're not just an expert marksman in, in, in being able to hit your target each time. Mm -hmm. You actually have systems in place that can show other people how to hit their target right. every time. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much. Okay. Um, sometimes you have to pivot to a different target, all right? But once you're in that place, then you can move forward because you're, you have this baseline system and it's like, well, someone that you'll be talking to later, Bob Baer, taught right. me that there are three basic legs to any business. And there are processes in all of them. And you unify them into one system. Right. See, one of the big mindset shifts that people have to make if they're really going to succeed in business is you only have one system. You don't have a thousand systems. You have one. You right. have only one thing that you're focusing on. Now, there may be a thousand moving parts under it, but you have one. So for me, the foundational pieces have been identify where I want to go, and then put the team in place that can support me being there. Right. And then become the person who is there, and then be there. Right. All right. And the pieces that move into that are knowing what do you need to track to know if you're on target for this particular place. All right. Let's say in sales. All right. I don't like using sales. Number one, because it only gives you one third of the picture. Right. All right, but when you're tracking, you want to track each piece of your business and make sure that it's on track and that you have the right people in the right place. So you've done your market analysis, you've done your business plan, you're in gear, all right? right. You're, you're beginning to move. 
Now you need to know if the targets, the execution steps that you've set can be achieved using the methodology that you currently have in place. And if they can't, then you tweak the execution. You leave the plan alone. And so those are some of the foundational pieces is make sure you have a good plan, align the plan to the activities, check the activities and come back and correct the execution, and then make sure that you're staying on track with the plan. Now, it sounds like you've done that a number of times in your life. You did that mm -hmm. uh, when you were running these like big um, development projects. Mm -hmm. um, but then you, in creating the six different companies plus the international company right. that you, you're now CEO of, um, you're doing that over and over again is what I hear. It is. Um, one of the things, one of the methodologies that I use is rubber stamp. So the way I put together a hierarchy is rubber stamped. Now the pieces that are in them will vary according to the culture that needs to be established, the people who are playing on the team, who is the target customer that we're going after, but how we set that up is rubber stamped. We first, we identify where we're going. Second, we identify who we have and who we need. Third is we put together the plan of getting there and then we do it. And awesome. you just keep repeating the cycle. That's great. Well, I know we're, we're coming up here on a, on a break and I wanna say that this, you're gonna enjoy this show. Odell has some real keys and tools that can help you get uh, farther down the road in your own business and even some breakthrough. We'll be right back with this Business Spotlight. Bob Bear, author of More Power, is passionate about helping others to write and get their books published. Bob is a serial entrepreneur with six current businesses and is a certified master trainer of guerrilla marketing. Bob enjoys teaching and mentoring those who want to become better expert authorities in their chosen fields and industries. Visit BobBear.com for details about his book, More Power, or for information on speaking, workshops, or interviews. And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar, my guest, Adele Stunkard. And Adele has, uh, Odell has a real system for helping you create the breakthrough in your business. So thank you, Odell. It's uh, great to have you on the air. Again, thanks. I want to get into what you're doing to create the, the success you're having because you have created systems that create success. Yes. So let's talk about what you're doing. Well, we can go back to the begin beginning. We can go back to the first business that I came into. It was already structured. I didn't create it. I didn't create it at all. But I came in at a place where it was rapidly moving towards growing, growing, gone. Meaning that the sales were just going through the roof. And with it, so were the expenses to maintain it. And mm. so at the time that I came in, sales were on a record climb, and so were expenses. So net income was in a negative. And when we started looking at all of that, then we realized that we did not know where our threshold points were for what it took to produce a product and get it to a customer. And so we had to begin examining that. We began setting up a war room with metric boards where we're tracking the different pieces of the organization that drive things so that when we got ready to make a change, we could calibrate a specific dial instead of just setting a goal and saying, go do it. Um, we also put in implementation strategies with database management and with accounting practices to make sure that the financial and the customer service pieces could flow smoothly through the human aspect that's running this conveyor belt. And through that, we were able to reduce the staff by over half. Flatline sales for one year. The following year, it was on a 25% growth curve with 15% on the bottom line. Now it averages 25% straight profit. But that sounds like a real gutsy move because yes. normally a, a growth organization wants more sales. <laughs> I mean, they're like, hot dog, we got money. But you had to step in and um, make some real strategic, mm -hmm. uh, disciplined, and even probably painful. Very, yeah, it's not easy. Is that something that you help a, a lot of other businesses with? Is that what you're doing now? I mean, give yes. me more. Yes. Whatever business you're in should be the business you plan on being in the rest of your life. Right. All right. Meaning that you may have a number of vehicles that you employ it, but your why should always be driving. All right. Whatever car you're in, your why should be driving. So oftentimes when I come into businesses, what I recognize is that they've created a vision for the company without any respect to the business with the vision, pardon me, for their lives. Right. 
All right, and so they're off on this course, and they are still completely unfulfilled and not enjoying what they're doing, and things are problematic, and they're constantly having issues. Now, is this so the executive team, or is this the whole team? Yes. Wow. Because what starts at the top flows down. Right. Okay. Well, I believe that management re reproduces itself. Well, management reproduces itself. Management sets the tone for the environment. Management determines the attitude of the players. Management controls whether or not things are on track or skew. Management has all of that authority. How do you get a bit on uh, an executive's kind of, you know, a bit on an executive when they're usually wild stallions anyways? Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it sounds like that's what has to happen. You have to get them to get a grip on what's really going on in their business. Well, see, that's, that's the hardest thing of all. Um, because most business people, including myself, consider ourselves to be successful. Oh, yeah. So remaining teachable and coachable is not always an easy thing, especially when the dial spins around and the mirror is pointing at you. Right. All right. That's the hard thing because it's always easy to look, well, I need a better system. I need a better piece of software. I need better marketing. I need a better team. But more often than not, that's not what needs to happen. Right. What needs to happen is a change in here between your ears. And once you get that clear, then everything else can be built on it and it will stay in alignment. Very good. Because one of the things that I, I hear and I know of, of your history is that you've helped people um, that are bouncing against a glass ceiling yeah. realize it takes a different, it takes a mind that's past the ceiling right. to really make the difference. Wouldn't you agree? Right. And how do you get them into that mind? Well, the way I put it is that the provision for your vision is in the place of your vision. Um, All right. So your job is to get your butt where your face is. <laughs> okay, and so what we begin to look at is what is it that you believe to be true that's created the success that you're at, whether it's hard work has its own rewards, uh, whatever that mindset is, and instead let's start looking at how do people think who are already doing what you want to do. Right. All right, so now let's make the adjustments and begin to prove the evidence out that the way they're thinking is qualified, it's justified, it works, and it's appropriate for you. All right, but sometimes how that occurs is by one, let's come face to face with what you really want. Two, let's come face to face with where you are. Three, let's come face to face with what is the guff in between the two. And now let's come face to face with how committed are you to being there. Right. So if you were to sit there and tell your, your, the audience, <laughs> just like yeah. you're talking to a, a leader right. for 30 seconds, what would you tell him right now? You can do whatever you've decided to do, as long as you decide to change who you are to be the person who does it. Okay. You know, as we're, as we're coming into this next segment, because the next segment is really about who it is that you would call your ideal client, who you're looking for. And I know we just spoke to a C-level type, and, and I encourage you that if you're in business, really, um, if you're not if you're not getting the money that you want, then you should be talking to Odell anyways. This is the business spotlight where you get to tell your story to your marketplace. We'll be right back. Bob Bear, author of More Power, is passionate about helping others to write and get their books published. Bob is a serial entrepreneur with six current businesses and is a certified master trainer of guerrilla marketing. Bob enjoys teaching and mentoring those who want to become better expert authorities in their chosen fields and industries. Visit BobBear.com for details about his book, More Power, or for information on speaking, workshops, or interviews. And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar. My guest today is Odell Stunkard. And Odell has, uh, is, a, I want to call him a breakthrough coach, but even beyond that, I hate the word coach, a breakthrough guy that is uh, training and helping leaders get into the field that they really want to be in, and I mean the field of income that they want to be in, uh, breaking through that glass ceiling. So a bit of a glass breaker, <laughs> breakthrough expert. Thank you. Who are you trying to help? Who's this message for? Although this message could be for anyone, the people that I enjoy working with, the ones that receive the greatest benefit are the influencers who already have success 
and have already come to the place where they recognize that to get from here to there requires a leap just as it did to get from where they started to where they are and they don't mind being taken to task for what they say they're going to do and who they say they're going to become because for me I'm a high D and a high I so it's all about what are you putting on the road so you're a high driver high influencer mm -hmm. and that really makes sense to the drivers and the influencers right. that don't want to be coddled don't want to be don't need a big explanation mm -hmm. you just charge in and say look you know, pull your head out let's, <laughs> get out of, let's move on <laughs> well and it's not quite so rough as that <laughs> um, but I am direct right and so it's like okay we've agreed to be here you're spending money to be here and you're spending money trying to figure out how to get to the money level you want to be at right so I don't want to sit here and charge you so you can sit here and tell me your family woes right all right I want to sit here and let's talk about what's wrong in your business what dials you want to turn and then let's get a plan in place and I will drive you to implement your plan right so that you can see the success that you have decided to have well and the, and the cool part about that is that it, it it really does attract the right people when right. you are direct enough to say okay let's let's move that's really really nice but you know, okay can we get on to something else right. right and then but the other thing is is that bringing that vision of this other place that other mind so right. to speak yeah. how do you begin to get that process into people well because although I am direct the basis behind all of that is love right all right so from that place we can take enough time to find out who you are right all right we can take the time to find out what it is that has stopped you from getting through the glass ceiling that you're bumping up against all right and over time you might discover this for yourself but my job is to shortcut that so that you can do it quickly and as painlessly as possible there's always pain but as painless as possible so once we discover what it is that's holding you back then we simply come up with a plan for what is more powerful than what is holding you back right all right and when you step into implementing that then this fear or this old belief loses power who can you give me a story of somebody that you've been able to do that for sure I'm gonna begin with myself but let's uh, talk about my business partner sure right. um, one of the things that was causing him the most angst before he brought me on board was that he had a confusion between what was team and what were employees right all right which is a common thread across all businesses it's well if the they care things. for their people a lot of times everybody becomes family right. once you start writing them a check right and everybody becomes family and but they are all roads lead back all right they're not a team a team means that they are empowered to act on your behalf and run the organization for you which is where you gain freedom and the ability to work on your business instead of in it right okay you be you, you get past the technician right. and into the the right. business owner so doing that allowed the size of the business to double in 12 months because you had six people working with your mindset towards your targets right meanwhile you were free to begin working on the next one right and so that's how we've gone to this as we employ that strategy he comes in with the vision I come in and build in the structure and then the team takes over and runs it for us while I go on to the next one and he goes on to the next one we just follow each other in a loop and you're teaching this on a large-scale basis on a national platform aren't you national I mean, and international right yes. so that you're literally getting people from you know it's whatever level they're at and preferably I know that you tend to work with a, a, the uh, I want to say the extreme leaders I mean people that are that are uh, earning their income in their businesses between six and fifty million dollars or more would that be about right that yes that's my favorite target that works great great and then as far as um, any other you know like short story of somebody you know where did you start and where are they at now uh, well there's a woman I know who began as a nonprofit organizer and I have to keep this very brief we're about out of time here um, but she moved from nonprofit organizer to administrative assistant and now she is director of operations for a multi 
uh, for a multi-location, multi-million dollar business. Sweet. In, 20, in 36 months. Now, so the one thing about that is that I hear that you saw her real potential, mm -hmm. gave her a glimpse of that, and right. made the difference. Awesome. This is the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. Adele, Odell Stunkard is the, my guest today, and he is creating tremendous breakthrough for his clients around the country, around the world. And uh, we'll be right back. Thanks. Bob Bear, author of More Power, is passionate about helping others to write and get their books published. Bob is a serial entrepreneur with six current businesses and is a certified master trainer of guerrilla marketing. Bob enjoys teaching and mentoring those who want to become better expert authorities in their chosen fields and industries. Visit BobBear.com for details about his book, More Power, or for information on speaking, workshops, or interviews. And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar. My guest today, Odell Stunkard. Odell is a master at helping you get the breakthrough that you really want in your business, most specifically. Uh, he has created, well, as it stands right now, he's the CEO of over six businesses. One of them is international in scope, multi-million dollar companies. Odell, thanks for being here. Thank you, sir. I want to get into how someone can connect to you. If they see themselves as that success, mm -hmm. that know, they know they're not where they want to be, they're, they're not where they're designed to be. And they can afford to hire you. And I know you're not cheap, but you, you really do attract the best people. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? What's the process? Well, on the screen you see my website address. You also see a phone number that will take you directly to our receptionist at the offices here in, in Las Colinas. You can contact me through that and we can schedule a session to get to know each other. Usually that's about 30 to 45 minutes. I ask questions 20% of the time. You speak 80% of the time. And it's all about finding out whether or not we're fit. If you're at a place where I can help you, if you're above me, if you're coming up to me, but there's only a certain number of people that I can work with at any given time. And they need to be a fit. I don't want to waste your time and I don't want you to waste my time. So we get together and we make sure that we mesh from there we'll put a plan of action together based on the answers to the questions I ask you in the initial interview. So it sounds like once they, if they do get into the process, if mm -hmm. they do uh, engage with you, that then they've got someone that is going to hold them accountable to the vision that they create. Right. Yes. It, it's not about what do I want. It's what do you want. And then my job is to support you in what you want but not support as in hold your hand, support as in, okay, you want to do this, so let's go do this. You're not alone, I'm here, I'll help you, but let's go do this, let's get it done. Let's move you on to the next mark. Right, and in that, in that process, once they've gotten past the initial um, plan, mm -hmm. how, how often do you usually meet with people? Uh, how, how does, what's that process usually look like? I vary it on occasion depending on where they are and what needs to be done, how, what are the critical pieces and how many of them are there. But as a general rule, it's one hour, once a month, and two 30-minute sessions spread out through the same month. And I require that people sign on for no less than 90 days. Right. Usually, I won't take a client unless they're willing to commit to six months or more. Well, I would expect that to really help somebody, mm -hmm. you ought to work with them for a couple of years to mm -hmm. get them in, not just in the mindset, but in the place that they right. envision. Because usually, the place they envision is not 90 days away. No. It's a couple of years out. Well, and the thing about vision, Patrick, is that it's like looking through a doorway. And when you're across the room from the doorway, you have a very limited view, but you think you see what's there. But the closer you get to that doorway, then the more you can see. But it's not until you're through it that you, the real expanse of what you're about begins to take shape. So going through the cycle for at least six months will begin to give you that glimpse, but then that's where the real work begins. And as you move through that 12-month cycle, 
then it's becoming more expensive because by then you're at that threshold and you're looking through that door and there's much more than you thought. Right. And it, I mean, I would imagine that some clients get a little bit apprehensive about the changes. Yeah. I mean, most, of, most people are a bit afraid of their own success. Well, because one of the things that you're going to recognize is that as you begin to moving into alignment, there are going to people, there will be people among you, assuming that you're already established and have a team, that are there in false service. Right. Wonderful people, but they're not going to align with the alignment that you choose. And so those people will deselect or you will have to say goodbye. Right. For the health of your entire organization, for your ability to grow, for your own sanity. Right. And those are never popular things because you chose these people. Right. All right. They're a part of your family. You've made long-term relationships with them. And now it's going to be time to say goodbye. One of the things, though, that I, I know about you and mm -hmm. from my time of exposure in the last few months is that I've seen that you have a, an ability to inject... I want to say strength, courage, yeah. because you know they can do it. You are, you're standing there in that vision with them mm -hmm. going, you're here. And Stop I, thinking from the old brain, you're here. Right. And I have walked where they are. Right. So there is a knowing, there is a strength, but there's also a passion. My passion is that you achieve what you were put here to do. Right. So let's just go do that all right and yes there is a confidence in that because i've already been there with the next minute or so mm -hmm. tell, tell us tell some executive out there what he needs to hear to connect to you you can reach me at www.odellstunkard.com just like it shows on the screen my phone number is 972 600 2300 and I will return the call if I'm not there to take it myself what I guarantee you is that we won't work together unless the fit is right and that if we work together we will achieve the targets that we decide on together I look forward to seeing you thanks awesome folks this show is really about a business leader being able to tell his story, get his message into the marketplace. And it's selectively placed on a bunch of different websites more than anything else, YouTube and so many other places, that you have the opportunity to hear an invitation to connect to Odell. And I hope that you have the guts to do so. I'd encourage you to do it because most of the time we hold ourselves back and I don't want you to do that. This is the Business Spotlight. We'll talk to you all next time. Thanks.